fuck the societal construct of what is attractive. It was only about 10 years ago that the thigh gap, you remember the fucking thigh gap for women? That was what determined whether someone was, health, was, was attractive, you know? Now, the thigh gap, fuck the thigh gap, it's hashtag thick thighs, you know? Booty, if you don't have a booty, you're fucking unattractive. If you're not curvaceous, you're not attractive. You know, fuck what society and what the cultural norms are of what is attractive, because it's gonna change. It's gonna constantly change forever and ever and ever. Same with males, you know, in the 1990s, the, the massive bodybuilder look was what was, you know, deemed attractive. Then it went to a more athletic look. And now the fucking dad bod's in, you know, who fucking knows what's gonna be next? You know what is attractive? You know what really is fucking attractive? It's when someone embraces their body, works with their strengths, be it a thigh gap, be it a big booty, be it whatever the fuck it is, and is very comfortable in their skin and doesn't get their self-worth from what fucking society and the and culture says is attractive. Someone who feels good and is confident in their own skin, that's fucking attractive. That, that's when someone stands out. You know those people that walk into a room, they're fucking standing up straight, they're proud of who they are, they look after themselves, but they might not be you know, culturally the societal norms of what's attractive. Because they've got a presence about them, they've got a confidence about them, and they're comfortable as they are. They embrace their body as it is, and they feel good about their body, and they feel good in their own skin. That's what's fucking attractive.